I'm going to make this vlog type video and I hope you like it as an update on how my garden is. So since I've been featuring other people's garden, I think it's about time to feature my garden and update you guys on how my garden is doing. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this kind of videos, please comment down below so I can make more videos like this. My old videos are like this, so let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. Thank you! So this is the back area of my succulent plant. I'm gonna transfer my seedlings, here they are. This one is a different kind of plant, but since there's still no pop, no leaf I'm not gonna transfer them but this one my black prints they have roots they have leaf you can transfer that here are also my little seedlings okay they're doing well and this one the story of this one is that these are the succulents that I don't really like their appearance or structure so I planted all them all together here and they look so beautiful and I hardly even notice them and then here I like the color of this one, Fred Ives. I highly recommend everybody, succulent addict one and all, to buy Fred Ives because you'll love the color of Fred Ives. They're very beautiful. I just cut this now. Okay, it came from that one. It came from that one. I just cut it. It has four cuttings. I cut four of them. What's the name of this one? Harry Watson. Yeah, also have a Harry Watson. Harry Watson, Fred Ives. You'll love the color. This one also. I forgot the name of this one. Oh yeah, we are at the back part of my succulent garden. So all of them are facing there. <laughs> I think it's just easier to move around here. So here. Okay. You'll love the color of this one. And also this one. I should try to propagate that. I'm gonna try to propagate that. And here's another propagation nest. There. I have little babies. Oh, I love this spread. I'm so beautiful. gonna transfer my little seedlings here in this egg tray I can't show you how it's done because it's very complicated to video at the same time plant since I'm the only one here I don't have anyone to hold the camera here you can see the pop of this leaf and some roots so it's okay to plant this one now I'm gonna remove it from this container and put the leaves over there. Okay, so let's do this. Always remember, oh my gosh, there's birds here. Always remember that when you remove the leaf, look at the end part. Yeah, bird, I can hear you. Look at the end part, it should be nicely removed. If that's removed that way, Thank you, bird. If it's removed that way, then it means there's a chance that this is going to live. According to the video that I watched, any way you place it is okay. But I'm gonna place mine like this. Because he said that it's better if you put your leaf like this one. It's lateral because half of it is in the soil and then half of it is not. Back to normal as if nothing happened. But this one, it has so many babies. Let's 
there's a spider over there. See. I actually have a lot of this because this one is the most like highly reproductive type. See? All of it are the same. They came from, I think I started with two. There's also one in the front. Let me zoom in. Focus. There. And there. And there. Yeah. There's another one. A lot of this there can you see it if it won't focus see it has babies already the other babies that I got from this one are here one two three if you could see spiders and other insects here in my garden I just let them stay here because one they eat the insects that are harming my plants so i just let them stay here so i don't have millibugs because i have the spiders to eat them there but sometimes i do clean the place like i remove these things the other webs that don't look neat yeah if you think this is dead because it's brown it's still alive I also have uh, another plant there, spider plant nursery. So I hope you like this small vlog type video that I made for you guys today.